Okay, so in this video we're going to look at how to add uh, wind to our game. In other words, it's going to make our trees just move gently in the breeze, or I guess gust if you really want them to. So uh, the way to do it is just go to your game object menu at the top, and under 3D object, you'll see wind zone. Um, again, if you're in an older version of Unity, it'll be under um, create other, I imagine. So uh, there's wind zone. And that will appear somewhere, hopefully. I'm trying to find where it is. Oop, miles off the screen. Okay. So if that happens there, um, you may want to <laughs> move them back to, into your game. That was unexpected. Where's he gone? Right, so we might just position him manually. There we go. So uh, if it does disappear and you can't drag it in, what you can do is... Um, position it by using the coordinates over here on the inspector. You notice I've just put in some numbers, so I've got this wind zone now sitting up here. So I might just drag him down a bit. Okay, so we have our wind zone, and if we zoom into it, so select it, then press F in your scene, you can see the direction that the wind is going to be blowing. Okay, and, uh, oh, he's blocked by a mountain. Let's bring him over here. You can, if you want to change the direction of the wind, at the top left here, choose the uh, rotation tool. In this case here, if I click on the green, I can just rotate them around that axis. Okay, so that's how you, you can change the direction and place them. Uh, if you want to change the settings of the wind over here in the inspector, you have the strength of the wind, the amount of turbulence, uh, the magnitude of wind pulses, so those gusts, and also how often those gusts happen. So what should happen, and you, obviously you can play around with those, don't make the numbers too high or else the trees will just bend in half. Uh, but when you play now, all going well, if the wind is working, you can see the trees are moving in the breeze. So that's probably a little bit active. Um, so you may want to um, tinker with those settings until you get them just right. That is how you add a wind zone.